In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own version in jumper form of the embroidery inserted bodysuit from Louis Vuitton's uh, Spring Ready to Wear collection. Um, it's, been, it's already been worn on so many celebrities, including no less than Alexa Chung and Scarlett Johansson. So, um, that plus a few lucky finds at my local charity shop inspired me to make my own version. And in this tutorial I'm going to let you know how you can copy the look for less. It started with a blue jumper and if you repeat the process the first thing you need to do is turn it inside out. So to map out where you want to cut out your diamonds I used pattern paper and I stuck it over the where the ribbing is at the bottom because you want to start from there so measure however far using a pattern master or a graded set square both will do the same. Uh, just anything with the parallel centimetre lines from the edge. Uh, you measure how far, how much uh, allowance you have to give to your ribbing, which in, the, in this case is five centimetres, and you start five centimetres from the edge. And then when you draw out your diamonds, you've got a straight line from which to start. I made mine twelve centimetres tall, and nine centimeters wide and I so I've measured I've measured six centimeters from the baseline and then four and a half centimeters each way. I also left a centimeter between each diamond because when you cut them out we don't want the um, jumper to disintegrate. So I just trace those out and then after you've done that your next move is just to go through the fabric through the um, pattern paper with your gel pen just leaving a little dot on each corner because we're going to reconstruct them once we take it off. That includes at the side. Doesn't matter if they aren't all complete. And then when you've traced all your dots up, simply peel it off and unpin it. After that, you simply have to join the dots. Your next move is to cover your catch that one side in something so that it doesn't scratch when you try and stitch your attachments on.
edges symmetrical. I find it helps with this particular pattern master because it's got centimetre measurements along this curve. So you need to just reference the two. I'm just referencing these two just around that edge there. So there and there. I'm going to mark out five centimeters just from the edge here. And using our two reference points just on the corner, so that's those two here. I'm just going to mark there and those two here. And then you want to uh, measure your 5mm seam allowance as before. Do another one at the usual three centimeter intervals. I'll just show you that. Move again. The seam allowance is going to overlap. Not to worry. We're going to sort of cut it away. Sort of all will be revealed once we get to it. So again, our reference point.
Ronaldo. Again, we're just layering this over the um, over the collar of that uh, white shirt, um, just to kind of build on it. And in and we're going to cut these out of organza twice. And once you've cut it out, it should look something like this. Once you cut out your piece, you should have something that looks like this. Um, and we've now got to take the pattern piece off. So we're left with the two layers of organza, and we just have to sew them together. And we're of course sewing half a centimetre away where the seam allowance is. So I'm just going to program my sewing machine to that. So keeping your two layers of fabric pinned together, which you do have to watch with a sheer fabric like organza, just machine stitch around. And now using this t-shirt, um, I got this for about three pounds or something from my local charity shop. Um, I just liked it because it had like this sort of broidery effect going on along around the front of the neckline. And it kind of tied in with the look that we're going for, but it was yellow. So that was why I had to paint over it, so I've just painted over it with my fabric paint. Your next move is to cut it out, which, voila, I have started doing. Just cut as closely as you possibly can the patterns if you find a similar lace top or just something with trims around it um, either if you're if you're not lucky with your local charity shops maybe check out eBay or something like that um, I think broidery tends to be the key word that you need to look for um, and just cut around it keeping it sort of curved keeping your outline smooth um, but at the same time as close to the edge as possible like so And you should have something that looks like this. You can also cut out some bigger holes around um, where there isn't much stitching. Not that I've explained that that fantastically, but uh, basically you want to get uh, a nice intricate pattern going on. So you can cut holes where there are a lot of blank spaces like so. because you want this to look as busy as possible. Once you've finished stitching, 
your organza, it should look something like this. You then simply have to cut away the excess fabric well. Cut away little triangles, specifically around the corners and in between each of the scalloped bits. Um, and wherever there's a curve basically, so that it'll fold in nicely and then just cut away about half of the excess fabric. You then need to take your shirt with, uh, I'm certainly just constructing it on top of the existing collar because it's much easier. I've measured, just so that we can use the most of this, um, of this brodery trim and sort of expose the most of it, I've measured two and a half centimetres from the inside. Oh, you're just going to cut away the rest of that, the rest of the collar. So again, using my pattern master, two and a half centimetres. along the edge and then cut this in half along there and sew this to the backing of the collar otherwise known as the part where it gets exciting you then have to take your organza turn it back to the right side out again because it was inside out before and just iron the various scalloped bits in place as well as the one centimetre seam allowance at the bottom. Like so. You then need to put your shirt on underneath the jumper and just pin uh, to mark out where the jumper kind of meets the shirt because we're just going to cut out and discard the rest and use this as a mock layer insert around the neck. Um, so that's what I've done here. And around the back, let's hope that shows up on film. Um, and then you have to take it off, which I will do with the camera off obviously, and, um, and just mark it in place and sew it there. Going back to the uh, diamonds that I've sketched out here, I've also traced um, a centimetre seam allowance using this pattern master, parallel line there, and now we're going to cut them out, um, just along those lines and inside these grooves here, like so. Once your diamonds are cut out, you want to peel back your seam allowance, like so, pin it in place. I'm just going to do that to the side. And this is where we have the lace.
taking this lace trim, uh, which I got from eBay, take a section of that, cut it away at the edges. Mine's got quite a nice sort of curved, wavy shape, so just cut away around the final wave there. So, like that. And pin that back in place where your seam allowance is. Take your other pins out because we don't want your machine going over. repeat this process with the other four corners, try and get them reasonably symmetrical, get a bit of a pattern going, and you can overlap as well like so. And then when you're done, we've got to stitch that in place, in blue around the edge and in white just to stitch the bits together. When you've stitched in all your lace panels, you should hopefully have something that looks like this. This is my final garment. I've also, as you know, just sewn in the neck piece um, with the red line that I traced out earlier. I measured a centimeter from there using my pattern master as my seam allowance and just sewed as close to the edge as possible, so give, a give or take a millimeter. You might also have noticed that I 
got rid of the unsightly top of the collar where I'd cut it off by putting this rather nice broidery lace trim, which I also got off eBay. So this is what your final shirt should look like.